Hey there everyone, welcome back to Halo Cannon. I hope you don't hate me too much for uh, taking so long with some of this. Uh, got those uh, first couple videos out there as fast as possible. Um, obviously I'm, I'm working on limited hardware so it's, it's as much as I can do in well, you know, the limited time frame. And of course I had to watch the rest of the Microsoft uh, media briefing. But um, So in addition to those, there's plenty more videos coming out both both today and uh, this whole week in general as more and more Halo news comes out. To start, we're going to do our first trailer breakdown. Think of it kind of like IGN's uh, Rewind Theater. We'll take a look at the trailer. You know, we'll be playing in the background. Um, well, you'll you'll watch it and you'll hear me talk over it, so you don't so you can't hear all the trailery goodness that you would rather watch than hear me talk about. So, let's get started. All right, so right away we see this visual callback, not just to the cutscene that this is based on, but a little bit to the Halo 2 announcement trailer. Because um, you can see it's not a direct... Uh, it's not a direct remake of that actual cutscene. It's um, it's quite a bit style. It's very stylized. It's uh, There's a lot of extra stuff here. And, oh, God. You have to forget the story. Oh, my God. That is... I just... I squealed like a schoolgirl when I first heard that. That's Keith David coming back as the Arbiter. Absolutely beautiful. And of course, not to distract from that, when we look, you know, looking back at all these graphics, you can see everything's just beautifully updated. The Master Chief, he's got, his, his armor is, a, is an HD update of exactly what he had in Halo 2. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are going to love that. I personally would have liked something a little more like his Halo 3 armor just for the sake of consistency. But that's me. You can also see Cairo Station looks beautiful. It's got a lot of very gritty, looks battle-worn, looks uh, like the Covenant have been attacking it. And, of course, the Space Pickle. I mean, you look you look really closely at this thing, and you can kind of see there's some more Covenant-esque designs on it. But, uh, you know, just you know, a little more detail, as you, as you would expect in an HD upgrade. Yeah, they got some new camera angles. And now you can see something like the, the scene being projected on a helmet of some kind. Now, I think you've all figured it out. I saw I, I was pretty certain when I saw it. That is our new Spartan from Halo 5 Guardians. So, kind of interesting. This is a Halo 2 anniversary trailer, but we're getting some hints to Halo 5 Guardians. Both from just seeing this character and the narration from Keith David as the Arbiter. I'm still excited about that. Yep. There we go. We got him heading straight into, uh, straight down towards the Covenant ship. There's the Marathon Cruiser getting absolutely destroyed. Getting all these new angles. I I have to wonder right away if this is going to be, like, if, if this is just a concept trailer or, I mean, it's, it's obviously pre-rendered. Um... But is this like, you know, all the elements from that cutscene are there. We got the Chief falling into space. We got the Marathon class cruiser intercepting that ventral beam to keep the Chief himself from getting destroyed. At least that's what I always assumed was, hap was happening in that cutscene. I might be wrong about that. But, um, yeah, you know, we got that happening and so much beautiful detail. So I, I, I can't help but wonder if, if this is, like, if this is actually what 343 intends as the final cinematic for this you know final look for this particular cinematic who knows there's the long swords coming in to bomb it so the chief can actually send the covenant pickle in get a little glitching there you can see uh, more of our spartan from halo 5 which i'm see i'm seeing now and you'll i'll try and point this out a little later it, it really his helmet i didn't i didn't really think about this it rem reminds me a lot of the photos armor you know a little cut down obviously um no no unicorn horn but the 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 visor itself reminds me a lot about that. So I, I don't know about you. What do you guys think? Anyway, let's continue. So there we go. Coming in close to the Covenant ship. We got some Seraphs in the background you never got to see. There we go. Very nice. Very nice getting to see uh, getting to see our new Spartan. And of course, and uh, I kind of I love the tone of uh, of the Arbiter here. And of course, I finally get something of a name. I, it sounds like Agent Clark to me, but I've heard others say Agent Locke. I don't know. I, I think it's Agent Clark, so maybe that's Marlo Clark. Assuming this Spartan actually is um, Marlo, as we have, as many of us have have uh, have guessed. Now, 
and you look at this and you, you see you're getting a lot more detail uh, you get these little blue lines back there that kind of imply forerunner so maybe that's like what really reminds me a lot of the photos the photos while you know its description is very is very laughable the armor itself is canon um and it is based on all of, it is based on forerunner uh forerunner systems so i i can't help but wonder you know if this is related to that or if it's just you know forerunner based spartan upgrades at all or you know period um we already know that the unsc is making forerunner based um armor technology again both you know both with photos but also with uh the uh the prefect armor that we saw with uh the halo 4 bu the champions bundle i don't remember what the actual armor pack was called at, at the moment but anyway uh, back to the trailer. So there we go, Chief Arm in the Bomb. This one's a little different than what we remember, obviously. Chief uh, Arm in the Bomb, not inside the Covenant ship, which is, you know, as cool as everything looks, I kind of hope that this isn't the final concept, just because I would like to see the Chief go back into the Covenant ship, as we saw in Halo 2. You know, kind of see, just because that would look really freaking beautiful. But obviously, you know, kicks it down, floating away, and oh my god, that ship. But it is all and then we can kind of see it's uh, just a projection that the Arbiter presumably is showing to um, uh, Clark. I'm just going to call him Clark because that's what I think his name is. There you go, a little more detail. You get the blue lines. And when you really get up close, I mean, that, that just looks exactly like Fotis to me. And actually going back a bit, I, I forgot I should have addressed it right away as you can see he's walking away so it's like yeah the arbiter's showing him um the accomplishments of the chief you can see we got uh images from halo 2 halo 3 oh halo 2 anniversary now um halo 3 um the halo xbox one trailer how the uh how the arbiter might have gotten that footage is questionable but no you know it's it's fun so it's more a nod to the fans than something that's supposed to be official you know um but as you see uh as you see uh clark walking towards the edge of, you know, walking away from that, you can kind of see uh, the a rendered version, or a 3D version of that concept art that was released very recently, right before E3. Um, you know, so it, it definitely seems to imply that that location was Sanghelios. Or Sanghelios. I'm, whatever, I'm going to go with Sanghelios. <laughs> That's the one I, use, I used to use. Anyway, so... It, it's definitely a you know it's it's a it's a it's a location of importance to the Sangheili, but is it Sanghelios? That still remains to be seen. So, and we kind of get, and to get right up close, you kind of get this hint of the Arbiter. Um, he's definitely got some new armor. It does not, at least at first glance, it does not look like the exact same armor that he had in Halo Escalation. I could we could be wrong. It could be. Um, but you know, I, noticeably, I don't see the the uh, the more fanciful headdress. But of course, the comics could have uh, exaggerated certain details. So this might it, it could be that this is intended to be the same armor. Um, only time will tell with that, I suppose. But oh god! And there we go. Halo Two Anniversary close up of the Chief's uh, Mark Six Mark Six uh, armor. And as you can see, it's going to include Halo 1 Anniversary, Halo 2 Anniversary, and then a port of Halo 3 and Halo 4. And right at the end there, Halo Master Chief Collection. So, I am excited for this. I hope you are too. Uh, stay tuned. More trailer breakdowns to come because we got, we got Halo 2 Anniversary gameplay and we have the Halo 5 Beta. Yes, the Halo 5 Beta beta trailer to go over there's not a whole lot in either of these but it's it's um i think you'll enjoy you know trying to take a look at what might be in the hidden in there anyway this has been halo canon and we'll see you relatively soon i would think thanks for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose also please be sure to follow me on facebook and twitter all your support is extremely welcome thank you all